Yankee fans of the United States and Newfoundland. Hey everybody, welcome back to another standing ovation break. I got my favorite stuff, hockey cards. I got 2122 Upper Deck Extended Series. I think it's like my third or my fourth box I'm going to be breaking on the channel here. And it's just time. I don't know, I'm, I'm itching for new Upper Deck. It's just, it's not here yet. Although, when this video posts, it might be out. I don't know, I think not quite yet. Uh, I'm posting these a little bit in, in advance down the road. And I'm actually planning on being in the Expo, uh, at the Expo in Toronto. I'm not setting up, but I'm just going to be there and check it out and see if I can find some good deals and definitely be getting my upper deck series one then and uh yeah we'll see how it goes in the meantime like i say i can't 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 keep the rich itching fingers going i still haven't hit my most eater in series two but i don't know who i haven't hit in series three or extended yet because i've only opened a, a sniffle of it and uh yeah i got uh i know i got the seth jarvis combo with the canvas and the young guns but uh i don't know what else i got uh it's coming to me i figure i'll rip the box and see because yeah I, I don't have anywhere near the set and not that i'm really chasing the set you can see you can already buy guys have put them together already and conveniently if you would just rather buy you know it's basically the equivalent of three boxes you can pretty much buy the whole set but uh it's more funner making them making them sets yourself or trying to build them or whatever and you never know when you're opening a hobby box you might get some spectacular incredible amazing hobby only card or he might not like my last break of hobby i think i didn't get any exclusive hobby anything uh actually when i looked at it afterwards i did notice i did get a black a duty, a duty canvas black but uh you know that box was a dud because it didn't give me any hobby cards this one seems like it's short a pack five six oh no there was an extra one there so i got there's the six, there's the second six, there's another five, six, and there's six. No, I see they didn't chip me. I'm just so used to getting chipped by Upper Deck these days. <clears throat> if Upper Deck listening, you want to send me some free stuff for chipping me? Uh, anytime, just send it on. We'll take any, com any, any free stuff you want to send, because you owe us all. You've been chipping us all, indirectly or directly. You're not paying attention to your jobs anymore, and... I don't know what happened to Upper Deck over the past couple of years, but they're really, they're really slacking. So as I dog the product, let's see if I can't make myself look foolish by pulling out all the best cards now. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be really good. Actually, I haven't done too, too badly out of this. As I say, you know, it's compelling me to rip more. Something inside me says rip more. Nothing stopping me saying, don't do it. It was terrible experience. Don't do it again. So our first insert's going to be one of them holographics, and it's going to be one of them there Spencer Knights. Not sure what happened to him to start the season. I don't think he's suited up playing yet, but I don't know. I don't know, because I know Florida's got uh, off to a great start there with their new uh, Matthew Tuchuk looking kind of team. Anyway, the base I didn't even call out. They're just uh, Alexiak Hathaway. Suchi. How come it says inaugural game on that card, but not on that one? Well, obviously, you're not taken from the same game. Um, but is there like a subset within the set of the Kraken? Because again, this is your first chat. This is your first crack at the Kraken. Build in that upper deck team set of the inaugural team. I don't know if anybody's done that. I'm close to Seattle now, maybe. This is it there too, Mason Appleton. I might just have to do that myself now that I mention it. Perry, Schmidt, Cece. There's an, oh, look at that. That's an acetate Camdenine Young Guns. Nice. Gotta like getting the acetate Young Guns, Trevor Lewis, Bushnevich, and Andrew Ladd. Especially, um, that kind of goes well with the uh, the French one I just pulled. I think that was out of one of my last boxes. So now I've got, like, uh, just got to get the exclusives and the high gloss and the regular base and uh, any other version that might come out. And I'll have all the Camdenines. But in the meantime, I'm happy just with the Young Guns Acetate. That's cool. I like pulling them. Like the last box I said of Hobby, it wasn't a series. It was a series one. I'm going to let the cat out of the bag if you see my video postings. That series one box was, was patootie. It was not nice. Brock McGinn, Sam Lafferty, Mark Pizik. Oh, there's a regular Young Guns of Isaac Phillips. Yeah, I was compelled to rip to try to get at that... Uh, 
Cole Caulfield, who seems quite popular these days with the young folk and the old folk and any Habs fan that's out there. And yeah, it just totally slapped me in the face, that box. And it did not produce anything. But it was fun to rip and all, you know, just, just kind of hoping for a little better result. Okay, well, enough of that Series 1 crap, complaint, whining. Let's get on to this stellar box so far of Extended, because it really has been. I've got uh, I've got myself a acetate already in, and we're only, what, this is the fourth pack in? Single Reinhardt, Ian Cole, we've got a gold pod, pod Colson, gold holographics. Those are not numbered, I don't believe, but they are gold, which makes them more rare than the silver version. Eaton Bear, no adoption. Sonny Milano. So, you got a gold and a silver, the all, 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 awful graphics, all holographics, I'm trying to say. Making my words. And here we go, Nick Dowd. James Reimer. Nathan Bastion. Logan O'Connor. Oh, I'm making my own piles here now. Uh, Logan O'Connor, and look at this. Oh, I got a mascot. It's the, the New Jersey Devil's Devil. I don't know what his name is. I, I think it's Chance. I don't know. That's the, the, the Golden Knights one. I just pulled this in the MVP box. I ripped open. I got a mascot him, too. That's my first canvas mascots. Golgoski, Tenev, and Strawman. That's kind of cool. Why don't I just put my cards up here and my packs down here. Can you still see all of them? That's good. I can't see the packs, but that's okay. Yeah. New Jersey Devil mascots. Look at all the stats on the back. Boy, they really tell you a lot about them. Those cards are very important to the collector, I'm sure. Because without a team set filled with its mascot waving a flag on... I mean, what is a collection? Remember, they used to do coach cards. I haven't gone that far yet, uh, Upper Deck. It'd probably mean you'd have to start paying coaches for being on your hockey cards. Connor Mc, 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 uh, Mc, who's this guy? Hmm. McDavid? Well, I think that's his name. Yeah, okay, Matt Roy. Yakov Trenin. Tukarask. That's French. That's en français. All right. Nice Tukarask en français. Evander Kane, Antti Ranta, Zach Sanford, and Cal McCarr. Nice little Rasky. He's now retired. Hey, I got a, I a couple of Raskins here. So I might have to put a little Rasquad up there, a little Rascal. I know I got a, I think I got a, I don't know what I got. I got a couple of new Rask cards. I think one of them's a black, a canvas black, I think. There's Adam Fox. And there's Judas Donskoy. With Alexander True. Keith Yandel. And there's a regular canvas of the Heart Man. You gotta have heart, man. Tage Thompson, Yuhar Karia, 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 Andrew Coglianano, Coglianano, Andrew Cogliano. He was one of them Iron Man too for a while, but I think he had to stop. But he he played a whole bunch in a row. Pulled that Phil Kessel, Keith Yandel type of thing. Is it Dougie Jarvis, the old schooler that did it? Okay, Gus Despair, Logan Brown, Good Brinson, and nice SPX. Vasily Pod Colson. Nice Vasily. Carter Rowney. Brendan Dillon. Matthew Joseph and Jordan. Whoops, sorry, you go. I shipped you off to the Leafs there, so you don't mind getting dumped on your face. Uh -huh. Yeah, those Maple Leafs started off like a bunch of overpaid athletes, if you ask me. They're just doing poorly. They need good old Spez on that team, is what they need. Samuel Montembeau. Will Butcher, Dryden Hunt, Oliver Ekman, Larson, and there's a tribute. Speaking of the hot dog man himself, there he is. The Iron Man. Way to go, Phil. Derek Broussard, Miko Rantanen, Colin Blackwell. Yeah, I don't know how long. He'll, he's going to be the Iron Man for quite some time there because that's that's a hard one to beat. And I've seen who is second. There's only like, they're like, you know, 400 games behind him, I think. But he's going to be the Iron Man. Phil Kessel is the Iron Man. And reminds you, kids, eat your hot dogs. Scott Wedgwood, Darren Helm, Dmitry Kulikov, Young Guns, Artem Nizav. And uh, I don't know much about Nizav. The Russian. Ooh, on Russia. Nasty country. Bunch of buttheads running that one. 
Alex Ned Ned Nedelkovo, Ned, Nedelkovich. There, see, I'm getting there. I just got to remember my enunciation. Mike Hoffman, Teddy Bluger, and Yanni Hakabah. Nedelkovich. I, I practiced last night. I went to bed saying Nedelkovich, Nedelkovich, Nedelkovich. And, yeah. I still butchered it the first look at it. It's a scary word when you see it for the first time. Nedel, Nedelkovich. Tyler Pitlick, Michael Raffle, Ryan Reeves. And there's Mason McTavish of the Rookie Gems, Double Diamond. I haven't got him yet. I hit the other two. I hit Drysdale and uh, that guy with the funny name, the single diamond one. But uh, it's cool. It's my first Mason black diamond card. Good job there, Mason. I don't know how you're doing this year. I haven't been watching too much of the West Coast highlights yet. I'm still stuck in the East Coast, even though I'm located West Coast now. Yuho Lomenko, Eric Walla, or Czechalist, and Victor Hedelman. Hedel Hedelman. Hedman. Yeah, i got to pay more attention. I'm still just so used to being a East Coaster that I watch the East Coast teams and, you know, Atlantic Vision and all and A. And now the specific thing is going on, and i got all these West Coast teams to watch. Derek Stepan, Stepan, Alexander Wenberg, Zach Hyman, and another Blackhawk. This time it's Patrick Kane on the Double Diamonds for the Black Diamond. I like, uh, like that year of Black Diamond. That was a good year before they got all expensive. Peyton Krebs for Philip Grubauer, Nick Thompson, and Nick Ritchie. Uh, well, I don't know if that's the last year before they got expensive, but yeah. It's a premium product where it doesn't belong now because it's just all about manufactured pant, manufactured pant, pant, patches, patches, stickers, autos, and diamonds of the quality for record players. Alex Chasson, Ryan Ellis, Riley Sheehan, Vincent Henestrosa. Here's a canvas of Michael Granlund, Even Bouchard, Adam Larson, and Mark Andre Fleury. The Fleur. Okay. Let's go this side. That's not going to be easy to rip down. And Greg Pattern. Jimmy Vesey, Freddie Anderson. With the young guns, Riley Tuft. Tufte? Tufty? And there's D'Angelo, Gustav Forsling, Louis Erickson, and Barkley Goudreau. Barkley Goudreau. Goudreau. Okay. Okay. Braden Holtby, Rasmus Ristolainen, Matthew Perot, Pius Suter, and another, oh no, it's another one of the retros, Patrick Laine. Arthur Kaliev, Jake McCabe, and Nick Folino. Nick Folino. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, almost there. We're getting uh, closer to the end, and I'm saying this has been fairly good box, I think. Aiden Hill, Dougie Hamilton, Nick Holden. There's a dry cycle. Saw a five-point night from him last night. The reflections, extended regular reflections insert. Um, yeah, Jason Dickinson, Patrick Nemeth, Robert Hag, and John Merrill. The animal. What is it, Elephant Man? Wasn't that John Merrill? I am not an animal. I am a human being. I am a man. Jaden Schwartz. Peter Morazic. Alexander Carrier. Laurent Brassal. Here comes Young Guns. Seth Jarvis of the Retro Variety. That's cool. That'll complete the trifecta. I've got both the regular and the, the canvas. Now I have the Retro Young Guns. Cool. I'll put that up there for a second. With Carrick, Dadanoff, and Donato bringing up the rear. I'm going to need some more space here, folks. There we go. Look at that. Oh, boy, I kind of need to take over there. I'll put that over there, that down there, some of these over here like that, one of this like that French one there, and all this sparkly SPX. And Okay, let's go with the canvases over there. And finally, let's put these holographs, hologram, and like that. Oh, isn't it all pretty the way I organized all that together? Nice. With our young guns. Still got a few to show up there. Got three regulars. I need three more regulars. So this could be a good old eight young guns box, technically. Wow. That's a young guns and that's a young guns, but they're not like the standard young guns. But all together, when you add all the young guns up together, there's going to be a whole bunch of them in this box. So it's good. 
It's always good. Matthias Janmark, Marcus Johansson, Nick Letty, regular Young Guns, Cole Schwint. Cole Schwint. Connor Garland, Jacob Middleton, Craig Anderson, and Jonathan Huberdo. All right. All right. This is just lining up marvelously. Just swell. All peachy keen like. Denton, Heinen, Andreas Johansson, Victor Arvidsson, Pierre Edward Bellamare, and a canvas of Bush Nevich. Bush Nevich. David Riddich, Michael Bunting, and Nikita Zadorov. So, 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 so. I guess technically this could have been, or could be a nine gun, yeah, young gun box, but I got a mascot, so the chances of getting young guns canvas are pretty much out the window. Freddie Goudreau, Alex Tuch, Brian Elliott, Scott Paranovich. Is it Paranovich? I think that's how you say it. I uh, Paranovich the Blues. That would be my fifth regular young gun. There's Sean Curley, Thomas Tatar, Tukarask, and Caleb Jones. So, finishing this off with four packs to go. It's been treating me nice, this box. Treat me nicely. Cal Clutterbuck, Seth Jones, Thomas Nosek, Ryan Graves with Cam Atkinson retro design. Zach Paris, Zach Bogosian, and Blake Coleman. Jakob Voracek. Dan Vladar. David Kempf. Oh, we got one stuck under him. Philip Dano. Philip Dan Dadno. Is one stuck under him, too. Brandon Montour and Zdeno Chara. Why is there one stuck under here? I don't know. It's Brandon Saad, though. And what's stuck under Kempfy is... Oh, look at this one. It's pretty. It's a trilogy rookie premiere of Mason McTavish. Nice, out of two ninety nine. I haven't pulled a trilogy yet. I, I actually traded for one the other day. I got a Josh Norris autograph, but that's a popping nice-looking card. I'll have to slide that over. Mason McTavish. Mason McTavish. Yeah, and the dry sidle can just hire it up here now because he's kind of all by himself. And uh, I guess so the other mascots. Okay, I'm going to go like this. What am I doing? I'm just making this presentation. We're almost done. Got two packs to go. That's that's a really nice card, though. Really clean. Corners look really nice. Can't see any scratching on the surface. I might have to ship that off to the graders. The level three premiere of Mason McTavish from this year's trilogy, which was not released in packs. Thus, it is an extended. Kind of like a Chronicles product. Upper Deck Chronicles. That's what maybe they should have called it, but mm, perhaps somebody else is using that name. Perhaps. Luke Coonan, Mark andre Fleury. There's a checklist. Oh, look at this. We got an OV in the SPX variety. So I got a numbered OV with a 299, 11.45 of 299. Nice SPX finite. There is a finite amount of those, but it's OV. There's even Rodriguez, or Rodriguez, as some of us say, Anton Forsberg and Luke Glendening. Last pack, folks. Last pack. Warning. Warning. This is the last pack. You have no more after this. This break has been just swell. If you like what you saw here, throw a thumbs up on it. It helps me going. And it, keeps, it helps keep me going. And then subscribing, you can keep watching other videos I do because, like I say, I'm trying to do these right till Christmas. And if you're not annoyed of me by then, like, you know, why not subscribe? Because it really does help me go and keep going. And then if you see what you like or like what you see here, perhaps you might see some of it on my eBay page, Standing Ovation, where I've been forever and a day. Uh, yeah, I'm going over 23 years now on eBay. 20, Dark Derek Forbort, Tucker Poolman, Adam Boquist, Kelly Yarnkrock, and last one, Justin Danforth on the Young Guns. And that fills out this break fairly well. We've got Fogel, Jones, and Brad Richardson. Because as they say, that makes eight young guns total. I got the uh, Seth Jarvis retro, which I think there's some interest in that card. And, and, and everybody always likes them acetate young guns. Uh, I got Janine there. And then I got my six young guns. I really don't know if any of these guys are worthy of uh, being a young gun and just not a first appearance card. But 
there you go, 50 young guns in set. They got to put 50 guys out, and that really makes it tough for next year's series one. As we know, there's no draft picks in series one, so I don't know who the 50 guys in this year's. I have seen a checklist, but I still don't know who they are. Anyway, you got a, a SPX, and I got my two black diamonds, one of the Mason McTavish, another Mason McTavish, and the, that's probably my favorite card in all that. The French Tuca and the three retros, as well as the Jarvis. I think all in all, you guys, it's, it, it, this uh, year of extended is way better than last year, obviously, and uh, hopefully the rookies make it even better for the years to come. All right, folks, if, uh, yeah, you want to keep watching, keep watching. I got lots of videos up there, and, like, yeah, so... Uh, Check them out. In the meantime, folks, standing ovation out.